Salesforce Admin Winner 23 Dumps. 56. An administrator at Universal Containers has been asked to prevent users from accessing Salesforce from outside of their network. What are two considerations for this configuration? Choose two answers A. Assign single sign-on to a permission set to allow users to log in when outside the network. B. Restrict U2F security keys on the user's profile to enforce login hours. C. IP address restrictions are set on the profile for the org. D. Enforce login IP ranges on every request must be selected to enforce IP restrictions. Answer C. IP address restrictions are set on the profile for the org. D. Enforce login IP ranges on every request must be selected to enforce IP restrictions. 57. CloudKix is working on a better way to track its product shipments utilizing Salesforce. Which field type should an administrator use to capture coordinates? A. Custom address B. Geolocation C. Geofence D. External lookup Answer B. Geolocation 58. When a sales rep clicks a button on an opportunity, a simple discount calculator screen should be launched. Which automation tool should an administrator use to build this discount calculator screen? A. Platform event B. Workflow rule C. Flow builder D. Process builder Answer C. Flow builder 59. CloudSox has a custom object called Shipments. The company wants to see all the shipment items from an account page. When an account is deleted, the shipment should remain. What type of relationship should the administrator make between shipments and accounts? A. Accounts should have a master detail to shipments. B. Accounts should have a lookup to shipments. C. Shipments should have a master detail to accounts. D. Shipments should have a lookup to account. Answer D. Shipments should have a lookup to account. 60. What are three settings an administrator should configure to make it easy for approvers to respond to approval requests? Choose three answers A. Specify initial submission actions within the approval process. B. Enable the organization's email approval response setting. C. Update the organization's chatter settings to allow approvals. D. Add the items to approve component to the approver's home page. E. Create a flow to automatically approve all records. Answers B. Enable the organization's email approval response setting. C. Update the organization's chatter settings to allow approvals. D. Add the items to approve component to the approver's home page. For more information visit this site www.salesforcestart.com.